This is so much fun. Like, I can't even tell you. The serotonin levels off the chart. She belongs in the Louvre. You know what I mean? I've actually just ordered a TBR cart. Wow, there's a lot of parts. Oh, sh wow, there's a lot of parts. You know what I'm saying, besties? Like, it is a good, we are thriving today. Progress. I am so happy right now. Okay. Yes. Hi everyone, today is a very exciting day because today I'm getting new bookcases. And like, do I even have to say it? I'm so excited. <laughs> My name is Lexi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now you might be a little confused because you might be going, <laughs> girl, you might want to chill out a little bit. There's quite a few bookcases behind you. Bestie, yes, I definitely agree with you. But I'm actually not adding to these bookshelves and I'm also um, not getting new ones because these are like my dream bookshelves and I'm completely obsessed with them and I will forever be in love with them. However, I would like a dedicated shelf to simply my TBR. Sometimes when I am trying to figure out my TBR for the season or for the moment. It can be just like a little daunting to go through all of my books. I just think that it would be really fun to have a dedicated shelf for nothing except for a TBR that I'm really, really excited for, especially since I'm constantly getting new books or I'm putting books aside for specific video concepts. I just think it would be fun, you know? And I think what I would like to do is actually, instead of keeping them all in one room, I really wanted to have this bookshelf specifically in my office. So upstairs is my bedroom and then I have an office and I just kind of want books up in my office as well as everywhere else in my house. So that is what we are doing in this vlog. We are basically just setting up some dedicated TBR shelves. Also, if you don't know what TBR means, don't worry about it. It just means to be read. So all of the books on that shelf will specifically be books that I have not read before. I've actually already ordered my bookshelves. I ordered them from Wayfair and I wanted ones that would kind of go with the vibe of this, a little bit industrial, but also something that would like match these ones. And I love them so much. I will pop them on the screen, the ones that I purchased and I'm completely obsessed and they're upstairs, completely ready to go. But I also thought it might be kind of fun if in addition to having TBR bookshelves, I kind of styled them differently than the way I style them down here. So instead of having all books, like like just spines out, I kind of want to try styling them specifically and making the shelves look a little bit more aesthetic with maybe some pieces of art. Maybe I have the books displayed in specific ways. Maybe I have a couple facing out. And so today what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do some online shopping for the accessories for my TBR shelves. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick out which books I would like to have upstairs as well. And then when all of the items come, we can go ahead and style the bookshelves. And you know what, besties, like it is just, I am living my best life right now. I am so happy. So before we do anything else, let's go to Wayfair and let's see if we can pick out some bookends and maybe some like fun and interesting things that would go on some bookshelves. Okay, so I kind of already know the vibe that I'm going for for the bookshelves. Have you seen those Marie Claire self-portrait videos? If you haven't, like I can link a couple of my favorites down below. Essentially, what I really wanna do is put my personality more in my bookshelves. My background with bookshelves is being a librarian and then before that being a bookseller and then before that being a literature student. And so I've always, always organized my books specifically by age category and then alphabetical by author's last name. This is the first time I've ever, ever organized by color in my whole life and I did that last year. And then I discovered these shelf portrait videos from Marie Claire where celebrities would come on and they would talk about their bookshelves. But it was cool because every single bookshelf and the way they organized and displayed their books, I feel like really was kind of like a window to how they think and who they are. Also, I like psychoanalyze everything too much, so it Pro like probably not. But it was really, really inspiring seeing how people's aesthetics and personalities were really more a part of their bookshelf. And that's what I really wanna do with these TBR shelves. And then I think eventually with the ones down here. So the aesthetics that I'm going for are kind of artsy. I want it to feel kind of almost like a museum, but like casual. I have a typewriter that I'm obsessed with. I've named her Cassiopeia. I bought her last year. I would love to display my typewriter, but I also really want the aesthetic to be kind of artsy, 
kind of neutral, but also like a little bit Greek inspired because I love Greek mythology. So the first thing that I'm going to look up are maybe some Greek busts. Ooh, like, like bookends. Do they make those? Okay, let's see. These ones are cool. They're not exactly what I was going for, but these ones are really, really pretty. They're like decorative heads. Maybe I should just put Greek bust bookends. Maybe this is not a thing. Instead of that, let's just put bookends, but let's see if they have any in gold. Okay, I am obsessed with all of these bookends. They are so beautiful. I think for this pair, I really just want them simple, um, just like simple gold bookends that look substantial. Oh, these ones. Oh my God, that's so expensive. <laughs> They're on sale. I would like some gold ones that have some personality. So like the French Bulldog ones, I actually really want. I like the other ones as like a base, but now I want some bookends that have some kind of a personality to them. I also really, really want just like busts, like specifically busts. I don't know what to say. I don't know if I should say busts or statue. This one's cool, Apollo bust. That one looks neat. Oh, like this one. Okay, so I don't know if I want this one in particular because this one looks a, a little scary, <laughs> but like this, this is like a wire art thing. It looks so freaking cool. It looks kind of artsy, something like this. Not exactly this though. Let me see if there's anything in there recommended. This is exactly what I wanted. I don't know, it just looks interesting. You know what I mean? Okay, so this is one that I will put aside. Let's keep looking. Oh my God, you guys, I found it. I found them, I found them. Okay, these are exactly what I wanted. So there are like these, they look like Greek busts, but they are literal bookends. They're a little expensive, but they look so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, yes. This is one that I 100% really, really wanna get because it's the exact aesthetic that I was picturing in my head. I don't know, I really, really like them a lot. Okay, okay, I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and place my order and then when everything comes in, uh, we can put everything together. Okay, done! And now, in the meantime, we can go ahead and pick out some of the books that I know for sure I really, really want to be on my TBR shelf. So let's get to it. Hello, if I look or sound different, it's because you are now on my like handheld vlog style so that we can just like pull books. Okay, so I already moved my Penguin Classics actually upstairs because I knew that I wanted those on the shelf. But I think I also really, really want this collection. Number one, because it's pretty, but number two, because I actually have been wanting to make my way through um, these specific Penguin Library Classics as well as the Vintage Classics for quite a while. I think if they're upstairs, it'll be like more of a reminder. So I'm gonna pull all of these. I think I'm actually going to leave all of the leather bounds here because I feel like they kind of just go with my vintage books, but I think I'm going to take all of these vintage classics upstairs as well because I really want to finish reading all of Virginia Woolf's as well as all of Jane Austen's. And I think I'm also going to take these ones as well. I don't remember who makes these. Virago Classics. They just look so cool, but I've been wanting to read them for such a long time. So I think they'll be like the perfect books to put up on that shelf. Okay, going along with that, I also know that I want to take all of my Charles Dickens classics and put them up there because I also want to make my way through all of his work, which means we gotta climb. Well, hello there, Mr. Charles Dickens. Fancy meeting you here. I'll stop. And now we just get to go through individually and pick which books. This is so much fun. Like, I can't even tell you. The serotonin levels off the chart. Um, I really wanna read All's Well by Mona Awad. Look at how pretty this is. I actually kind of think I wanna display this somehow. Definitely wanna read Lester. I've been wanting to read Lester for such a long time. Already read both of these. Ooh, but I have not read this one. I Who Have Never Known Men, and I've seen this everywhere on Instagram, so gimme. Next up, let's include some Otesha Moshfit. I see a book that I really, really want to add 
add to that shelf and it is Just Kids by Patti Smith. I also know that I for sure want to put some Murakami on there. So let's go with this one. Ooh, and I actually just purchased this and I hauled it in a recent book haul. So this would be great as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue pulling books from my shelves and then I'm gonna put them all in my office. And as soon as all of the little like accessories come in, we can actually get to decorating these bookshelves. Hi friends. So I have finally received almost everything that I ordered from Wayfair. I'm still actually waiting on one piece and it's like kind of like this abstract metal structure of like a face or a woman's face, which I think looks so freaking cool. But I think it might have gotten lost in the mail. So I have to call Wayfair on that. It's like no big deal at all. However, I thought since I have received everything else, I would just show you what I got. I definitely have ordered too many things. I didn't realize that at the time, but that's kind of okay because I kind of want to do a similar vibe down here after I'm done with my TBR shelves at some point. So whatever is left over, I'll probably end up just putting on these bookshelves, which are looking a little rough. Okay, so again, all of these items I actually received from Wayfair. I'm just gonna link things to be helpful if you're interested in them at all, but okay. So this is one of the items that I got. I feel like it looks so artistic and cool. I feel like it's really substantial in real life and like much taller even than I thought. And I really, really like it so much. I actually received both of these, which are the Greek like statue bust bookends. I think they're so cool. So they're actual bookends and you put them, well, I mean, you put books in, but they're bookends. But I just think they look so freaking cool. I love the details on them. They're actually not as heavy as you would think. Um, but they feel so substantial and they look so beautiful in person. I am completely in love. I'm so glad I ordered these. I ordered this one. I have quite a few. I know these are not all going to fit on my bookshelves, but I love this one. This one is heavy. Like if someone was breaking into my house, you know how I'm always like, I would just like use a book. No, I would use this thing. She belongs in the Louvre. You know what I mean? Okay, so now let me show you some of the bookends. So I already showed you the Greek bust ones, but I also, purchased these. These are gold ones and I like these so much. They're so heavy, but I really, really wanted to do accents and pops of gold and white and creams. And this really fits like the imagined aesthetic that I wanted, but it just feels so substantial and like heavy and really good quality. And I'm so happy with this purchase. So I have two of these right here. And I definitely think that I will be 100% incorporating these upstairs because I just love the color so much. And then the final pair of like bookends that I got were these and they're like little gold hands. I like how unique they are. I wanted some like quirkier things upstairs. I think they'll work perfectly. And then last but not least, I ordered all of these things. I ordered these from Amazon actually. I can link these below. These are just like book holders. They're picture frames basically. I wanted my shelf upstairs to have like a lot of personality. So I actually wanted to face out several books and I thought these would be perfect because it would match with the gold aesthetic and I just like the size of them so much. So that's everything that I ordered from Wayfair, but I also really want to incorporate a couple of these. So I have collected quite a few of these and I've actually just been finding them at Home Goods. So if you have like a Home Goods or a TJ Maxx around you, maybe check that out. This is such great quality. This is like so heavy and so sturdy and so like substantial. And I feel like these busts in particular would make excellent bookends, but also I feel like they look really interesting. So I think they'd be really, really fun on bookshelves. And so now that I finally have all of my things and all of my books are selected and picked out, we can officially put the entire bookshelf together. And I just, I cannot wait. I am so excited. <laughs> Hello friends. Okay, so I'm about to actually start organizing my TBR shelves, which I'm so incredibly excited for, um, but a couple new updates. The first is that in addition to the TBR shelves, I've actually just ordered a TBR cart. I technically already have a pink one, but the one that I want to use upstairs, I actually want to use for library books because one of my goals this year is to use the library more. And so I thought it'd be kind of nice to have like all of my library books on one cart upstairs as well. And then if I have any space underneath the TBR cart, like on the other shelves, I kind of want to use those shelves to utilize like books that I would like to haul so that I'm a little bit more organized. So I purchased that and we will be putting that together 
together later. I haven't put together a cart in years. Like I initially put together my TBR cart, I think for a vlog and then I did like a tour and I was so in love with my TBR cart the first time that I had it. So I'm really, really excited to put this one together. But then also besties. Okay, you know how like everyone has like a dream, well, I don't know about everyone, but I have a dream aesthetic for a library reading chair. My dream aesthetic is light brown leather with like a matching ottoman, super, super comfy, so comfortable in fact that you could totally fall asleep in it. Well, you can't tell, but the duration of this has been a while. <laughs> and I found my dream reading chair at Home Goods. I love Home Goods so much. That is like my place. That is my hangout. That is where me and my besties go and my besties, I mean myself and a lot of middle-aged women who I don't actually ever talk to. But like, I am so excited. I am so excited. I will show you my reading chair upstairs as well as the full blank TBR shelves with nothing on them. And then we'll start to load everything up. But you guys, like, <laughs> I am so happy right now because literally my dream reading chair has been purchased. My dream TBR shelves are installed, are totally up. All of the books are ready to go. All of the stuff is in. It's sunny outside. Like this is just, it's a good time. You know what I'm saying besties? Like it is a good, we are thriving today. These shelves however are not thriving. So you can definitely expect like a general bookshelf organization video for these soon. But anyways, I'm really excited. Let's go upstairs. I'll show you my reading chair and then I'll show you the TBR bookshelves and then we'll fill them up and then eventually we will also build the new TBR cart, which is gold. I'm happy. I'm really happy. I hope you're happy. Okay, great. Let's go. Okay, besties. Here is the naked TBR shelf and she's so pretty. On either side, I have some plants actually. I actually repotted these that they would look really nice next to the bookshelves. Also, I have not vacuumed and there's leaves because I have adorable little dogs who like to play in the forest. So I always have leaves everywhere and I always have to vacuum it. And I kind of already have like a little bit of an idea of how I want to organize things, um, but I haven't fully figured out exactly where everything is gonna go. I know I want a shelf just for mythology. I know I want a shelf just for magical realism, but I haven't fully worked everything out yet. I also know that I want my typewriter to be up there, but yeah. So those are the shelves. And then here is the reading chair in all her glory. It doesn't say who like the brand is or what the brand is. It just says handmade in Italy, genuine leather. But you guys, I'm just like so obsessed with it. It's so comfortable, but I feel like it's so cute and I feel like it matches the aesthetic in this office, but also downstairs too. So I'm really, really, really happy. I'm so happy with it. And I've already been reading there a ton. And it's, I don't know, I'm just so happy, you guys. Okay, so I have all of the books that I think I want on the shelf. I've got some poetry, some Greek mythology, and then I've got like a ton of these books that are new that I have that I purchased that I also want up there. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by like putting some of my items up there that I've purchased as like bookish accessories. And then I'm gonna kind of try to build the TBR around them. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, without further ado, let's set up the TBR bookshelves. to do because I have to build the TBR cart, but that took all day. I am so sore and so tired. And now I'm going to give you a brief 
overview of my bookshelf. I'm actually recording this in the future because the audio got messed up. So okay, the first shelf here is actually my Magical Realism TBR shelf. So all of the books on here are Magical Realism books that I am dying to get to in the next couple of months, hopefully. The next shelf is my stack of Charles Dickens, and I also really wanted to display All's Well. I love how this particular shelf turned out. I just think it looks so cute. And then next door, we have just a big random stack of TBR books that I really, really want to read in the next month. They are all brand new, and I am so excited about all of these titles. The top section is my Greek mythology TBR. Some of these books I've actually read, but I wanted to keep all of my Greek mythology kind of together. Um, and there's quite a few Greek mythology titles that I really, really, really want to get to. So this is actually like probably my favorite shelf. Okay, wait, actually, I think this is my favorite shelf. These are all of my classics. And I just love the way this one turned out. I have two busts. I got them both from Home Goods, I think. I'm obsessed with them. They kind of remind me of like Achilles and Patroclus. And I just, I really like it a lot. I don't know. I like the colors of it. The next shelf are more TBR books. These are all kind of relatively new. And next to it is my typewriter, Calliope. And right next to Calliope is a big stack of poetry books that I really, really want to get to soon. Okay, so maybe this shelf is my favorite. I don't know. And then finally, I love how this bottom one turned out with the two books faced out. I feel like most of these books look really, really colorful. Oh, and I guess that's all the time you get there, but I like that one too. <laughs> Again, I have no idea what I was saying here, but overall, I've just never been so happy with the way a bookshelf turned out. And I really, really want to see if I can try to, I don't know, replicate this downstairs because I love the vibes of it. So I hope you like it. I love it i think that's it for today though so i will catch you in a little while probably tomorrow when i am ready to build my tbr cart and then the project will officially be done okay see you then hi friends so it is the final day of the tbr project and finally i'm going to set up my tbr cart i have it right here i'm a little nervous because i'm gonna be honest with you I am not good at like building things or setting things up. You know what, let's just like do it. Maybe this will be a piece of cake. Also, if the audio sounds different, it is because I have a new vlogging camera. I love it so much, but I don't necessarily love the audio in it. And so I'm experimenting. I got a new microphone. There's like nowhere to put the microphone on the camera. So I just have it like chilling. I don't know. I'm not tech savvy at all, in case you didn't know that. So I've got my iced coffee here and I'm very excited and we're going to build a TBR cart, so cheers. Okay, so let's start. Okay. Yes. Look at how fancy these are. They, they're not real gold. But are they real gold to me? Because they're gonna hold books? Yes. I've had this for like a couple weeks. Imagine if it was missing a part and I couldn't return it. <laughs> This is so pretty. I just got this from Amazon. I will link it down below. Like, I mean, come on. King Midas could never, because you know, like his touch was gold. Anyways. Oh, wow, there's a lot of parts. Oh, sh wow, there's a lot of parts. So I've got, there's quite a bit of screws. That's intimidating. Let's look at the instructions. Okay, so the first thing that we, so that's step two. No, we're gonna take all of these little screw things. Um, and then we're gonna screw them in. Okay, these ones are, are these ones deep? Oh my God, I don't know. Isn't my little doggy so cute? You want a treat? You want a cookie? Is that what you want? Okay, I'll give you a cookie, cause I love you. Gemma, do you want a cookie too? Okay, excuse me for a second. There you go. So these things are on the bottom. I've got them lined up and I think I know where everything goes. We're just gonna start. So one, two, wait. Oh, I need five. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, I have six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, I need six, okay. Wow, oh my God, she's an artist. So yeah. Living my best life through building this TBR card. Let's time lapse this.
think I'm done. I just finished the cart. I'm obsessed with this cart. I wanted this cart for a couple of reasons. Number one, it was gold. Number two, I like how simple it was. But number three, I like that it's like open shelving. So the back has like stability so that the books will have a place to rest. But the front is completely open. I love this so much. So the top part are going to be for the library books. And then the other shelves I think I'm going to use for either like books that I'm going to haul or books for specific vlogs. And I freaking love it so much. So that is the conclusion. That is my new TBR shelf cart for my TBR shelves. And again, I'm going to use it for like my library books and then also for books that I'm reading for specific vlogs slash more of my TBR. And I'm so excited about it. I'm really, really happy. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've had so much fun making it. I've had so much fun like designing everything. It's definitely making me want to spruce up my shelves downstairs. So that'll probably be something I work on fairly soon as well. But my question to you is do you mix your TBR TBR books with all of your other books that you've read or do you like to keep them separate? I think I like both because I still have quite a few books on my other shelves that I also haven't read but now that I have this it just it's so exciting to me so I really like having like dedicated shelves to that but I'm really curious do you like mixing them or do you like keeping them separate? And I think that is it so if you've made it to this part of the video please leave me a plant emoji of some kind and I think that is it for this vlog you guys so until next time book lovers keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book and i will talk to you very soon bye always think of you when spring comes like it's something in the air at that time don't know why always dream of you when spring comes it's like the heat on my skin takes me back to the time met you on